and Illinois moves to confiscate firearms. Last week, the Chicago Times reported that the Cook County Sheriff's Office has formed a special task force assigned to seeking out Cook County suburb residents whose firearm owners' identification cards have expired. In February, the team confiscated 160 FOID cards and more than 160 guns from citizens whose cards have been revoked due to any number of circumstances, including newly discovered mental illnesses, felonies, and protection orders. Sheriff Dart has influenced the Illinois General Assembly to include language in a new FOID law that gives sheriffs and local police the power to obtain warrants and invade the homes of expired permit holders. Well, they just need more reasons to come busting into your house. And if you're in Detroit, it can get kind of scary because the cops there are now impersonating thieves. That's right. There's two men that were sergeants in the Detroit Police Department. One of them was an actual 20-year veteran of the Detroit Police Department, and the other with the same rank in St. Clair Shores. Allegedly wore their badges around their necks and drew the department-issued pistols when they robbed two men at an east side gas station on July 21st, according to the police. One of the victims was assaulted. I'm Jakari Jackson with an InfoWars news alert. Two Detroit police officers have been accused of roadside robbery and assault. The citizens were investigated and searched by both sergeants. It is alleged that an undisclosed amount of U.S. currency was taken from one of the citizens. Fortunately for those victims, there is a good citizen who is able to photograph the event. But what if you yourself are the only witness to police corruption? Donald Andrews Jr. operates a so-called smoke shop on Mohawk Avenue in Scotia. It sells incense and other smoking paraphernalia, legal stuff. Scotia and Schenectady County police became suspicious and targeted Andrews shop, sending an undercover informant in twice. Donald turns, he comes in, places the crack on the counter. Bear in mind, it's informants like that who are being used in the city of Chicago and other areas to snitch on private gun owners. And if you'd like to learn more on how to watch The Watchmen, go to InfoWarsShop.com and pick up Breakthrough. Investigative journalist James O'Keefe's account on how to expose fraud. I'm Jakari Jackson, and this has been an InfoWars News Alert. So we've got robbers playing cops, cops playing robbers, and citizens in the kitchen throwing pizza. Recently, people were arrested for throwing pizza. Separate attacks left victims battered and splattered with sauce. In separate incidents, two men allegedly assaulted their girlfriends with pizza. North Carolina cops arrested Cody Sebastian Parsons, 25, after responding to a domestic disturbance call at the home he shares with Sarah McKinney, his 19-year-old girlfriend. Parsons became angry after slipping on a wet floor and he cursed at McKinney. Parsons allegedly pelted her with pizza. Parsons was charged with assault on a female and booked into the Wilkes County Jail on the misdemeanor count. And in a separate incident, a South Carolina man was collared last Wednesday for domestic violence after he allegedly assaulted his girlfriend with a slice. Well, let's just hope that they don't try to take away pizza from people like they're trying to do with our guns because Pizza can hurt people. And now for our quote of the day. Educate and inform the whole mass of the people. They are the only sure reliance for the preservation of our liberty. That's Thomas Jefferson. Coming up, we have an interview with Scooter Downey. He won third place in the Operation Paul Revere Film Contest for Political Earth. It's a fun, fabulous animated film. And we encourage you to go to infowars.com forward slash Paul and see the rest of our contestants, as well as the second place winner, which Alex announced today on the radio show, American Drone. So go check that out. Supporting indie filmmakers with messages of freedom is so important, so we encourage you to purchase your copy of State of Mind. It's available on DVD and Blu-ray, so we encourage you to get that today. Go to InfoWars store and buy a copy, maybe buy a couple of copies for your friends. and. Encourage them to learn more about what's going on. Stick around after the interview. We're going to have a news blitz on the InfoWars Nightly News.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.